and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know. Did you hear what God said? God said, For now I know that thou fearest God. When did God know? That Abraham feared him. He said when he didn't withhold his son. His only son from me. And so God tests me. So that he could really know what's in me. As we watched what God was doing with Abraham. We saw three things that God expects of me. In the midst of him testing me. Number one. When God is testing me. He asked me to give up something that I love. So I can show him that I love him more. Are you with me this afternoon? When God is putting you to the test. He's asking you to give up something that you love. He told Abraham. Offer up your only son Isaac. That son who you love. And give him up unto me. As a burnt offering. When God puts you to the test, he's going to test you with something that you love. And the reason why God is going to test you with something that you love is because he wants you to love him more than anything and anybody else. Jesus said, if you love father or mother or sister or brother or wife or husband or even your own life more than me, you're not worthy of me. Jesus says that no man can serve two masters. He will love the one and hate the other or hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon. And so the first thing we learn from God testing us is that God is going to ask us to give up something that we love just to prove that we love him more. If there's something in your life that you that you say that you love you better not love it more than you love God. God has to come first in your life and therefore he'll put you to the test. He'll prove you so that you will have the opportunity to show him that he that you love him above any and everything else. Number two, when God proves us or puts up to the test he does that because he wants me to lift up my eyes and see the place where he He's leading me. See, when he was putting Abraham to the test, he didn't even tell Abraham how far the journey was. He just told him to go on to the mountain that I will show thee. And when Abraham got to the right place at the right time, that's when God sent him to the Mount of Moriah. And that's when God, the Bible indicates unto us that Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of which God showed him. When you're Faith is being put to the test. It could very well be the situation that God is trying to get you from where you are to where you need to be. That's why the Bible indicates that as we deal with God, we can't always walk by what we see. If you determine what you're going to do by what you see, then you're not going to do much because of what you see. That's the value of having a blind faith when it comes to God. If God wants me to do something. I don't have to know how it's going to work out. I don't have to see all the implications of the situation. I just need to trust God enough to take God at his word, step out and move when God says move. God tests me so I can lift up my eyes and see the place to which he's taking me. There is very well the possibility that God is no longer comfortable with you where you are and he's seeking to take you somewhere else. But you You'll never get there if you always got to see where you're going. Come on in the room here tonight. Then finally God wants me to look up and see that through the test, he was providing for me the whole time. Providence has to do with God's ability to see beforehand and to situate a blessing at just the right place at the right time. God does that. Even during the test, so that after the test is over, I didn't lose anything. 
Did you see what Abraham did through the test? Did you see how God provided for him through the test? When he was willing to take Isaac's life, God had a ram. God had a ram in the thickets that could take Isaac's place as Abraham was coming up the mountain. He didn't see the ram in the thickets. As Abraham was so he was so focused on doing what God said, like God said, that he did not see that God had already made the provision for him. That's the way faith ought to be with you and God. I don't have to see that he's worked it out. I just need to have the assurance that he's going to work it out. That's why Abraham could confidently tell Isaac that son, God will provide himself a lamb. Did you hear what Abraham said? God, Abraham said that God will provide himself a lamb. This is God's sacrifice. This is God's business. And if God wants an offering, God will provide what he needs for the offering. It's God's part to provide and it's my part to be obedient. That's what we're looking at. You don't lose anything by giving up to God when he commands you to give up unto him. As a matter of fact, you actually get more out of the test. Come, come on in the room here. Uh, than you would before you went through the test. See, before the test, you were blessed. But after the test, you were better than blessed. Because many times we equate blessings with having what we need. If you ever get in a situation where you don't have what you need, but yet you still made it, you better than blessed. Because better than blessed means I can have not enough. And not enough with God can be more than enough. Not only were you blessed, better than blessed, but before the test, you may have been content. But after the test, you become courageous. In contentment, that means that I have learned how to deal with situations as they are. But after the test, you learn that you can face some of anything. You can face situations that you did not think you could face because the test brings about courage. The ability to stand firm against adversity, knowing that you and God makes the majority. David had courage as he stood before Goliath and told him, I'm not scared of you. The God I serve delivered me from a lion. The God I serve delivered me from a bear. And that same God is going to deliver me from you. I'm going to take your own sword and cut your own head up with your own sword. Courageous. Before the test, you could do some things. After the test, you learn that you can do all things through Christ who will give you the strength. Before the test, you were just a follower. And after the test, you became more faithful. Before the test, you were good. But after the test, you were greater than you've ever been before. Before the test, you had peace. But after the test, you grew more patient. Before the test, you were strong. But after the test, you were stronger. Before the test, you were tough. But after the test, you were temperate. Before the test, you were wise. But after the test, you were wiser. You will learn more after the test than you could before the test. That certainly manifested in Abraham's conclusion concerning God. Because it was upon understanding God's ability to provide that Abraham named that place Jehovah Jireh, saying in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And I just took from that to understand that if there's some things I need to see in this life, I need to be where God is. In the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. There's some things I can see where God is that I can't see where God is not.